everybody, Metro Beard here. How are you all doing on this fine Wednesday afternoon, or whatever the time is where you are? Um, I'm back again for some more streaming, and I'm, I'm on my um, Super Console X again for part 8, can you believe it? Um, we've had such a good, good time on here, and explored many great systems and consoles, and um, it's been absolutely fantastic, and we've, we've barely even scraped the surface, to be honest. So... With that said, if you enjoyed my content, please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and all that good stuff. Much appreciated. Um, I thought I really enjoyed yesterday's Bubble Bobble um, comparison um, session we did, and we didn't actually finish it. So I wouldn't mind today looking at the remaining um, ports of it, and then hopefully there'll be some time, time left to do something else, which I haven't planned. I never really plan anything. I just see how I feel. Like being a bit spontaneous with it. Um, yesterday, we, for anybody who didn't watch it, we did um, the main arcade port, the Mega port, the Commodore 64 port, the Master System port, and the NES port. So today, we've got to see if the Atari ST's got one, the Amstrad CPC, the Speccy, and I might do a general search of all games to see if we can get all the ports lined up and, and check the rest and decide who's the winner, who's the loser, and who's in the middle. It's such a great game, and it's um, it's a fantastic one to uh, try. So I will. I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to go to all games and see if I can do a search that way and, and get them all lined up. Um, not with that controller set, no. There we go. Let's have a look. I'm hoping this will take us to it. And then we'll, I don't. Th I think we should have a bit of time left at the end as well, with a bit of luck, or halfway through. But I wanted to complete it because it was pretty darn fascinating and awesome to see all the different versions of Bubble Bubble might not have been the right way of doing a search. I might do a specific search, but I wanted to make sure it didn't skip it. Tell you what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do an actual um I'll just turn my keep my little wireless keyboard on. I'll just be one second. So is it on? B U B B L E space B O B B L E Hello Cauldron, how you doing? Let's see if that works. Ah! No, 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 no. So... MSX. Oh, there was an MSX port. I'm just going to stick to the original Bubble bubble though, oh gosh. Old and new, okay. I'm s Game Boy Advance. Game Boy. We don't want the sequels, it's just the first one. Amiga, we got yesterday. Amstrad CPC. Atari ST, oh it has got a port. FDS, not an FDS is. I wish it was stayed in English. FDS. Yeah, I just thought I'd um, I was gonna um, play through the remaining ports of Bubble Bobble and and then do a sort of conclusion because we didn't I didn't get to play them all. Um, yes, this is your reward after all that hard work yesterday. Game Boy port. Ve Vectrex. Wow, there's more ports on here than I thought. Let's do Atari ST first. So now we're doing a, we're going to compare the old Atari ST. Please work Atari ST. But so far the winner is obviously the arcade. In second place I would say the Amiga. In third place is joint with the NES and the Master System. Let's see if the, the ST showing was on par with... 
Yes, we must, we must battle at the ports. Battle of the ports. Coming to a theater near you. Promising. Oh no, don't make me do things. Ah, uh, okay, I feel a little bit hindered. Save config, maybe? Well, now it's frozen. Is Atari ST will lose points if the game's not accessible. Maybe I can use this. Oh, please don't crash. Yeah, but the ST is not behaving. If I can't get it to work, then it's it's out of the um I'll reset and try again. This is where familiarity with the hardware pays off, and I've never done much on an ST other than other than past being past the joystick and played a couple of games that way. I've never done anything like load a game up or anything on an ST before. Yes. The ST was very popular over here, back in the day. It was the Amiga's rival. And I was jealous of both the people. Now, can I get this piece of junk to work? Okay. So how do I do this? Can't get that to move. Can I move it with this? Oh, 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 my, my little keyboard works. Change into this peripheral. The little mouse um, pad thing on it works. So, what would I do to load this game up? Well, play this game. Maybe OK. What is it? Enter. Maybe a mouse click on the screen. Am I playing? <laughs> No, maybe I can set up joystick on it. I don't want to do keyboard. No, I didn't. Hi, Game Zone. How you doing? Now, how do we make this sing and dance? No, I, I had an Amiga when I was older. I never had an Amiga when it was current tech. I was sort of a teenager when I had an Amiga. So I wasn't part of it all. Controls have hindered us. I'll try it. I'll see if this works. Oh no. What a shame. I don't want to mess about with it. I might have to call this one. We'll, we'll watch the demo for a second, then I'll switch it off because I can't get controls and we don't want me doing this sort of. Judging by this demo, it looks. Comparable to the Amiga, if not slightly inferior. So, maybe not even inferior. It looks like a port of the Amiga. Yes, it's an awesome bit of kit, isn't it? I'm gonna have to call the Amiga, uh, the ST. We'll call the ST. Um, we'll call the ST a draw with the Amiga, if you don't mind. Because it's not exactly a hardware pusher for a 16-bit console, is it? So next, I was thinking the Amstrad CPC. If it's going to darn well work. Where are you? Vectrex. Vectrex. Mind blown. What about the Specky? We'll try the Specky. 
I did play this on the Specky, but my memory is not very good. The Specky is where I first played it. If the Specky controls don't work, once again, I'm not going to mess about. Because we don't want me trying to make controls work for the whole stream, do we? But we'll have to just then take a visual cue of the demo and make our own minds up. Which is not the same as physically controlling it. It was different with the ST, because STs and Amigas were usually direct ports of one another, so... Okay. I just said that. That's weird. Oh. Oh. Really? Um. Yeah, it's not looking very promising, though. Okay, this keyboard does not transmit inputs onto here. That is a terrible shame. Ah. Yeah, so we can we can safely assume that it's gonna work. I don't know about this. What about if I leave and come back? I'm gonna try again, but it ain't looking good for the specy port either. Not without me spending amounts of time trying to suss it. Oh, what have I done? Oh, here we go. I just don't have the time right now to figure it all out. Remap file not loaded. Okay, so why is it not loading the game up? No, not let. Oh, I don't know. Spectrum, we we'll, we'll just don't know yet. That's going to be that one's. Um, that one's out of the race because it's been annoying. Classic Bubble Bobble, Game Boy Color. Let's see what the Game Boy Color can do. Well, yeah, well, what it is, the emulator needs configuring to the microcomputer controls, and that's going to take me some. I'm going to have to watch some tutorial videos on it. And I, I don't, at the minute, I've not had any time outside of these streams to do anything. So. When I get time to configure, we can always revisit. What's this? Where's the bubble button? I haven't got a bubble button. This isn't, um, this isn't a port of the original game, is it? This is... That doesn't count, because that's not a port of the game. That was very annoying. What about the Sharp 68000 port of the game? I think this was a Japanese home computer or something, wasn't it? Please, give me a game. Give me a game to play. No, no hassle. Oh god, it's a home computer. What am I doing? A Japanese home computer? Impressive. Please work. You think emulators would do away with all this stuff, wouldn't you? Hello, Crazy Granza, how you doing? Sport of Kings for the Specky on this device. I'll have a look at I'll have a look in after I've done these comparisons. Here we go. Very nice so far. This this Sharp 68000 must have been a um, a powerful bit of hardware in its day. Okay, we might have found a contender. This is better than the Amiga port so far. Plays lovely, very smooth. I 
I never knew the Sharp 68000 was a powerhouse. Oops, my fault. Beautiful call. Yeah, this is better than the Amiga port, because the Amiga port's tiny. So the Sharp 68000 is winning now, so you know about it. So yeah, because you can tell it was good hardware. This, this is the best port so far, this is winning. Was it an 8-bit computer? Look at this. Even the sound is perfect. I'm actually a bit blown away with this. I just figured it was a Commodore, I mean, you know, Commodore-esque computer, nothing special. Very smooth controls. I'm also not detecting any more, any input lag. Yeah, and it shows. This is arcade perfect. My skill isn't though. Most impressive. Hey, I love that bit. Stay still. Oh man. So first place, Sharp X68000, whatever it's called. Second place, joint second place, Amiga and ST. Joint third place, Master System and NES. And um, what was it we tried? Think. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Now I will see. <sighs> Ordo. Beautiful. I want to see what else there is. So the Spectrum's a no go. I wonder if the Amstrad, if I can find it, if that will play. I want the first one. I want the sequels. Super Bubble Bobble. Super. We don't want Super, do we? MSX. MSX, we'll try that. MSX, MSX. Is that another Japanese machine? Korea. 512 kilobytes of RAM. Oh god, what's this? That does not look like 512 kilobytes of RAM to me. You're having a laugh, aren't you? It's just a handheld system or something. I brought my glasses. Oh god, what's this? Well, we have a new contender for the worst version of the game. Is this some sort of an 8-bit home computer or something? Oh no, the um... So really, it's this, it's this versus the Commodore 64, and I would say the Commodore 64 slightly tops it. Oh. Aww. I like how all of the colour palettes on the main sprite and everybody else has got Spectrum graphics. This is the poor man's version.
Oh, I can't even. I can't even cope with what's going on, on the screen. My eyes. The, the Commodore version is more playable than this. I would say the Commodore tops it. It captures the spirit of the game. Oh. I hate this version. It sucks. What the heck? <laughs> well, if this is what they're up against, I don't blame them. This is absolute junk. Garbage. So this is worse than seeing. This is the worst part I've played. I feel sorry for the versions that we couldn't get to work, but you know. What we got now? Go away. Old and new Game Boy Advance. Try Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance should be arcade perfect by all rights. Game Boy Advance was a 32-bit console. We're not going to play the new version. That doesn't like Game Boy Advance to me. That looks like Game Boy Color or something. Or Game Boy with a color palette. We shall see. Oh, it is Game Boy Advance, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want all the new stuff, we want the old stuff. Oh, crap. I'm pressing buttons too quick. Yeah, it was it was funny, but it were, it was pretty atrocious. What? Old. We're not interested in new. This should be arcade... What? Oh, it's on a small screen, but it's a handheld. Darn it. Yes, Game Boy Advance was a quality system. The small screen isn't the console's fault, but the rest of it looks arcade perfect, doesn't it? Look at these colours. The only weakness of the Game Boy Advance was it never had a great sound chip. I dare say it can cope with this. Probably. When we've finished all these ports, I'll, I'll play anything anyone wants. Just want to finish this so we can um, complete the comparison. Otherwise, I'll forget and never finish it. Yeah, it's a solid port. When forgetting about the game size, the um, screen size, but that's just the emulator. I can tweak it all in the future. might arguably be the best version. The sharp version certainly looked better, but that might be because of the bigger screen real estate. It plays quite well. It's not, I'd say the sharp version slightly tops it. This doesn't play quite as well. In terms of controlling. Sundays. What do you all think? I, I definitely think the sharp version slightly tops it. Oh. And it's hard to really see what's going on, but that's not the fault of that. Give me that sweet. Game, you know, if I was playing it on so my Game Boy Advance and I not bought it, I'd be pretty chuffed. Yeah, I agree, the sharp port is number one. This is probably number two, though. What's next? Don't need that. We've did... done that. Amstrad CPC. Please work, I'm going to die to try this version out.
128k now we're playing with power oh no don't ruin it i want to keep on to the Um, is my keyboard going to work? Or shall I be so lucky? And what about the... Oh. How do I bring a keyboard up? Oh, here we go. Oh, darn it, my flipping picture's over it. Should have brought my glasses. Oh, I don't wear glasses. Three, two, one. That's all of my keys. If I enter, oh, sorry, it doesn't work. That's a pain in the bum. Hmm. How did I get that keyboard up? Oh, that's how I do controls. I'll remember that for next time. I'm afraid no Amstrad CPC. Not not until I sort the controls out, which I've learned how to get to the screen at least. But now is not the time. Done that. Done that. What's an FDS? FDS. Yes, I agree. Definitely. The um, Sharp X68 100, whatever it's called, or 68,000 in the main. Famicom discs? Oh, it's the Famicom disc drive thing that the Japanese had. Yeah, we'll, we'll try some Wario games. I just wanted to finish these um, ports off. I don't know if it's any different to the NES standard one or if it's a stripped down port and an enhanced port. Whatever, just get start the game. Set B side. Oh, the B side of the disc is here. I've got to pretend I'm putting discs in. A cave of monsters. Let me in. I think this is just the NES version, isn't it? In terms of what it is. Got me, he's too aggressive. Oh, didn't even see myself there, I was looking for myself. Don't spawn me next to them. Okay. This is just basically exactly the same as the NES version, so there's probably no point doing this one. It does refresh me on how good the NES version is, though. Come on, Mr. Angry. This is so basically, this is the NES version, so we've already tested it, so it's a, it's a darn solid mid-range port. No point really playing it. Game Gear, now we're talking. So, uh, Sega's 8-bit glorious colour backlit, backlit handheld console. I used to love my Game Gear. So. Looking good. It looks like a low-res version of it that's pretty accurate. Oh no, it's all squished onto a small screen.
it's not bad for a small handheld screen. This is the Game Gear, pretty solid port graphically. It's got the goodies. Smaller game screen, but you expect that on a handheld, don't you? Handheld wise, the Game Boy Advance port rightfully leaves it in the dirt. I put the Game, game Boy Advance port second place. This is quite nice though for a condensed experience. A bit cramped though. But it gives you the feel of the arcade. <laughs> yeah, the battery part wasn't so much fun. I had a recharger, I was living the dream back in the day. I had a massive Game Gear, uh, what am I doing? I had a massive Game Gear library, well I say massive, about 40 games. And I sold it, which I don't even know why I sold it. It couldn't have been a logical reason. This is lovely, it's got all the playability, snappy controls, it's just a condensed screen with great big, great, great big sprites. The screen, I suppose looking at a small screen, if it was too big, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see it. It's harder to play because of the small playing area, you use less dodging room. Oh great, they're all angry now. The controls are backwards, which drives me nuts. Jump is bubble and bubbles jump, which is getting me killed a lot. And, and the sprickery, sprickery sprites are a bit off putting. I'd say the NES and Master System port are superior. This is a. Hurry up. I will hurry up until we can turn it off. I wish they made the playing area a little bit bigger. It's like half the screen. I've seen the car going cheap. I'd buy it. But I prefer my Master System version I've ever got. Oh no, I, I got my Game Gear when I was a young adult. My mum never bought me a games console in my, in my life. Well, I say that. There was one we had when I was a kid, but all the family shared that. The Game Gear one I place quite low simply because it's too compacted. Other than that, it's beautiful. It looks nice, plays well. Very flickery sprites, though. Game Boy. What secrets does the Game Boy version hold, apart from a tiny screen that's going to make me go blind? Like a, like a flea market, Cauldron, what you'd call a flea market in America. Oh god, have they given me a story? I don't want a story, I just want to play the game. Why is the bubble only green in half? Wow, Game Boy, you dark horse! Why am I trapped for? Oh. If the bubbles didn't come out in half, is that emulation or is that a limitation of the actual hardware? Because if that's emulation, fair enough, if that's the limitation of the hardware, oh, that's important. Um. It's a boot. It's sort of like loads of people park up in a huge field or car park, open up and open up their car boots and sell um, car trunks, as you'd say, and sell things that that are used or whatever. And um, they also make little market stalls and sell things, and you get bargains in, in theory. They can be four or five, or they can be hundreds of people doing it. Every town pretty much has one at some point. Every Sunday we used to have until the stupid virus happened. It was more a bit like a flea market, a bit like. Because a boot is what we what you call a trunk on a car. We call it a boot over here. Car boot. And there's all sorts of little deviations and variations of the basic idea of it.
Game Boy port. Assuming the bubbles are an emulation problem, I, I, won't, I won't assume it's a limitation of the Game Boy. Um, the actual game plays reasonable. It's a lower end port, but I, it could have been worse. Yes, flea market. I'm sure I said that. You can find some retro gaming bargains sometimes. I got a Sega Mega Drive a few years ago for two pounds with about eight games. I was very happy. They didn't know what they were selling. Has anybody played this before on the Game Boy? Can they tell me if the bubbles come out in half and the actual hardware, or is it an emulation problem? This isn't really an authentic version of the game, it's a huge world like on the Game Boy Advance, so it loses points for that automatically. Haha, <laughs> yep. This is like a reimagining of the game, it's not a proper port. Not impressed. It plays okay, but it's lower on the list. Mass system, there's a what about the Vectrex? I'm sure this must be a homebrew. I hope you can handle the awesome graphics we're about to get. The Vectrex! Diamond. I'm going in. If it's gonna work. Will the Vectrex be the port that wins them all? Will it even load up and work? Because it seems to have frozen. I think it's just a homebrew game. Come on, but Maybe the, the power is just overwhelming the system. Is it paused? Is it crashed? Well, the Vectrex version don't even work, so it don't count. A load of rubbish. Classic one. Indeedy. Most of us can't name those monarchs. Super Bubble. So Super's a different game, is it? Yeah, it's an in. Oh. Are we about done? Old and new, we've done that. Part two. Mame. Two. Me. I'm strength CPC. We couldn't get that to work. I think that's about it. I think that's about, oh, about it. So, it's a shame we couldn't play them all. So what was the conclusion? Main first, Sharp 68,000 second, obviously Main is the arcade. Sharp 68,000 second, um, I bet you know Prince Albert as well. Um, the worst. Probably that MSX or the Game Boy or the Game Gear. Hmm. Somebody asked for a, a game earlier. There was somebody before Carranza asked for Wario. Somebody asked for a different game. Um, who was it? And what game was it? Does anybody remember? Let's see if I can scroll up. And if that person's there, 
I'll try not to scroll through tons of left. Um, let's have a look. Sport of Sport of Kings for the Specky. It was you, weren't it, Game Zone? I'll have a look. Although I've had, I've had a problem controlling the Specky so far because I've not had time to set up the controls on it. Uh. Oh. What am I doing? There you go. That was it. If, if even if it's here, we might not be able to control it because I've, because the controls need to specifically be mapped, and I need to spend half an hour figuring that insanity out. But it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It's just something that it just means they've not properly calibrated calibrated it on the default settings, and I've got to do it. How many Spectrum games are there? I should have done a specific search. Oh. So right, we can have a look, can't we? Show my great alphabet now knowledge. Come on, you. Oh, crud. Sport of Kings. Well, they've got it. That's a start. Here's the part where I can't probably control it. But at least you know it's here. Setting up the controls probably is not a big deal. I think you just press the two analog sticks down. And then you set it from there. Okay, can my can my little keyboard control it? Let's have a look. So what would my joystick be? Certainly not Kempston. My Kempston interface I got rid of about twenty odd years ago. Does my keyboard give me inputs? No, I have to do inputs from the controller. Darn it. We probably won't. I think um yeah, it's on the system and it seems to work perfectly. Um, say, to set up the controls, it seems to be you press down the two analog buttons like that, you scroll down, um, or it's even got inbuilt streaming software. Well, anyway, um, you go to controls and you can customize them from there. But I want to do it not on a stream, I want to do it when I can have, make a few mistakes and, and um, not piddle about but it seems to be so it seems to be a perfectly fixable issue what am I doing there we go My no, oh crud. So it doesn't work on that one. Yeah, so um, it's on here and it works perfectly fine. I'm just gonna have to fiddle about, and if I have to, if I have to set the controls for every individual game, that's not really great. But I, I'll figure it out and I'll, I'll get back to everyone. Let, let's one of you lot figure it out first if you get it, you know. But it's there. That's the main thing, isn't it? Sorry we couldn't actually play it properly, but it's on there and it looks beautiful. Yeah, I wish I'd have kept all my Spectrum stuff. I would have I would have streamed on genuine hardware and done it like a boss and got myself a Retro Tink 2X. I'd have done that and I'd have, I'd have streamed a, an actual Spectrum with all my cassettes and loaded the games in the stream just to be just to be really edgy. That would have been good, wouldn't it? Watching Spectrum games loading for a stream. And Crazy Carranza, are you still here? If so, what Wario game did you want? Console games seem to behave nicely. Hopefully he's not sleeping. Yeah, we were doing we were doing gaming on the cheap, filling up ninety minute cassettes with games. Ah, there you are. 
Which Wario game do you want, mate? Wario Land 4, Game Boy Advance. Okay, let's have a look. Where are you, Game Boy Advance? Here we go. So, Wario Land 4. I apologise in advance, um, Crazy Karanzu, if I totally suck. Because, you know, a lot, a lot of these games that I walk into for the first time, I'm rubbish at. Looks beautiful, graphically. This is why it's not the pro gaming channel, it's more of the Pratt gaming channel. Is Wario Italian? Has he got an Italian voice? Or is he sort of a bad guy voice? It's a me, Mario! Games on cassettes were the best thing ever. It's nice waiting 15 minutes for a game to load. Especially when it crashes at the end of the process and all of your waiting is for nothing. And your mum says you've got an, you've got an hour to play, play your game and you've lost 15 minutes loading the damn thing. Although nothing beats Double Dragon on the specky two players. With your characters with massive heads, it's great. Look at this. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance was a powerhouse. Let me in the game, Ma. I hope the screen gets bigger than this, or something trouble. No easy. Oh, mamma mia. I'm going to also explore and see if there's a way of making the screen bigger when I, when I mess about with the settings because this is not good for my eyes. Is this me? No, it's not me. It's a, it's a cut scene. Oh, nice mode seven there. Oh, cool. I hope this isn't the game. Yeah. Used to put load and then two little um, what they called speech mark things two sets of that and press enter and that's how you load your game up i think oh this isn't the graphics is it oh it's a bit better hey what powers has he got he's got jump and hit things is he fight. Oh yes, he can fight. He's not as vulnerable as Mario. Up I go! Is that treasure? Yeah. Yeah, and the NES um, price of NES games, we could have got a um, hundred, a hundred games to the price of one NES game. This is quite intuitive.
he can walk for it, but I can't. Now you get too complicated for me. That's a talent now. What am I doing wrong? I'm not actually on the hardware, remember? So that does nothing on this controller. I'm not sure what what I'm not doing here is my R button does nothing on this controller, it's doing nothing. Suggestions, Carranza? Do I can run up, like move and then right. maximum range of it. Oh. Take care game zone. Thanks for thanks for watching. I'm gonna bang my head on this wall now. I've not let go of the buttons. Help! I've not let go of the buttons. I'm holding them down, I promise you. Look. It's saying right button on that drawing, but right button doesn't seem to do anything on my controller. That doesn't have the right button there, so it's... Oh. How do you run? Is there a run button? Run. Got there. Now I'm drowning. Oh no, too much coordination. 
so oops hey wrong button I know what to do now this is just my coordination let me have that darn water so I need to go <laughs> oh, mistimed it. That's job. Oh, this destroyed the block. Let me out of the darn water. There we go. So now what's it saying? It's wanting too much from me. Oops, lost me stone. Please be reset. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm getting confused with the controls now. So no, you pick Have to hold it down. This is exhausting. Oops. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a slow learner, but I'm getting there. Oh, for God's sake! How does anyone get any pleasure from this? It's just like being given. It's like being given jobs to do. Now, what does it want me to do? He's not claustrophobic, is he? Take it out of these guys. Oh. Now what am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do?
maybe run and press down on the hill to tumble. annoying me. Oh, he's my friend. I thought it was a foe. Game. Oh, he can smash things with his bomb. Most impressive. <gasps> yes. Look at the time. This is not my sort of game. It's still, um, it's still nice to be getting better at it. But I really must go now. It's been a, um, a pleasure. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, it does, doesn't it? You're right. Um, I've I enjoyed finishing off the Bubble Bobble. It's very sad that we couldn't play all the ports, but once I've got the control malarkeys all set, we'll go back and revisit those last few ports. Um, Wario 60, um, Wario 4 has been um, educational. I, I've enjoyed getting better at it. It's not my cup of tea because it's a bit like working for me, learning all these things, but I can definitely see the appeal and I appreciate the beautiful graphics in it. It's a nice game. Yes. Correct. It is. Um, what day is it today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? So I'll be back tomorrow for another stream, as usual, same old time, uh, four o'clock my four o'clock GMT and um, eleven Eastern time. So if you can work out what your time zone is between them, I'm sure you can always find out. Um, I'll be yeah back tomorrow as normal. Thank you everybody for watching. It's been much appreciated. It's been a, it's been a blast. Um, oh yeah, it's keeping fit, isn't he? Doing some um, skipping. Why so nimble on his feet? Yes, um, anybody watching this later when it's a video, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, leave me a like, it's much appreciated, and a comment and all that fun stuff. Yes. And, um, Thanks guys, thanks everybody who's watched it, it's been brilliant, I've enjoyed all the talking and reminiscing and all that stuff and all the information, because I'm learning so much from you guys. So, we'll, be, we'll do some more tomorrow, so I'll see everyone tomorrow, take care, all the best, this is Retrobit signing off, bye for now.